YouTube. I have a video for you today. I have a whip. I have a finish. I have some haul. So it's going to be a little bit busy. Let's get going. I'm going to start with my finishes. I finish it, finished The Gatekeeper by um, Little Stitch Girl. And I'm really loving how it came out. Um, I probably would not have used this color here on the moon. Um, you could barely see it. I wish I'd have maybe changed that color, but there it is. Uh, I did change a little bit in this pattern. This hat was originally green and I didn't like it in the green. I always like purple for Halloween stuff, even though purple isn't really my favorite color. For some reason, it's Halloween to me. I did put the green in the eyes and the eyes in the pattern were black, but I liked them better green. Other than that, everything is as, um, the pattern called for. So I'm really loving that. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to uh, FFO that, but I'm excited about that. As far as whips, I have, let me change, move this so you don't see the pattern. I have this pattern by Bent Creek. It's the Brent Bent Creek Snappers and it is March Blows. It's part of a 12 month series. And this is the first one that I started with. Of course, I know it's not March, but I did start this in March. I just didn't get uh, as far on it as I would have liked. I did change a few of the colors. I changed uh, the chicken to soot, I believe, from, um, I think that might be a Gentle Arts uh, floss, but that was uh, so far the only change. We'll see what happens. The um, stuff that I have is small. I just have the chicken started and I am using 16 count Ada. This is Legacy by Picture This Plus and I just didn't like how the black looked on there. I sort of like the soot a lot better. It almost looks black, right? It's just sort of a um, kind of like a charcoal gray maybe, but that's the start I got on that. So I'm going to put that back in its bag really quick so I don't misplace it. I also have this started pretty well. Look at that. I've got all the flowers stitched. I've got the wagon stitched. I had a little mishap here on the wheel, but whatever. I'm going to leave it that way because it doesn't really bother me. And um, the color changes I chose. I talked about that in a prior video. I really like how they came out. And here you can see the sheep starting. So this is on... Um, 16 count lamb's wool by Wichelt and I'm really really liking how that is coming along and here is the pattern it's will you be my valentine but again as I said before I'm leaving off the hearts and I'm leaving off the words here so it can be something that I can keep up like for spring or summer all year it doesn't really matter just however however I end up wanting to do that but if I left the hearts and the will you be mine on that I could not use it all year so it's number two now I'm going to go ahead and show you what else I'm going to be stitching uh currently what's going into my stitching bags I have sunflower seeds and here you can see the pattern here now typically I would leave this for sunflower September because I do stitch sunflower September and I might even just do that I might not even start it but I do have all the floss and everything kitted up and I really like this one so I was thinking maybe I'll start it but just full disclosure it may end up uh, being a sunflower September I'm trying to talk myself into starting it now so we'll see if I win me or not um, this here is my spring barnyard stack. I do work on all of the four seasons. I just took the uh, autumn barnyard stack out. I didn't start the winter, but I did start the uh, autumn and I was working on that. But I've pulled that out and put that away for next year. And I'm gonna start the spring barnyard stack. And this is by Cherry Hill Stitchery. And I'm going to be using Cosmo. 16 count. I love Cosmo 16 count, but it's on like an ivory. So, or actually it's not ivory. I take it back. It's natural. I'm using the Cosmo natural for spring and summer, and I'm using the Cosmo ivory for winter and fall. So I do have that. 
And then this one I've had in my bag for a while. I keep saying I'm going to start it. I haven't yet. This is Daisy because, you know, I love the chickens. But I'm actually thinking I'm probably not going to start this. I haven't committed to it. I do have Icelandic beige set aside, 16 count Wichelt. And I'll tell you the reason why. I pulled this and it's been in there and I've been wanting to start it. However, I'm not a real sampler fan, but um, I just kind of think sometimes they're a bit chaotic. There's a lot going on. They're kind of busy, but my, maybe my tastes are changing. But lately I've been getting into some samplers, not some of the busier ones, but um, I did buy one in my last haul from Bank Creek, a cabin one, and I really love sheep. I love stitching sheep, and I found this pattern. It's by Jardine Preve probably butchered that and um not really sure what that says I think it's like maybe history of the mountains too or something anyway it's part of a full sampler so I can get this without the glare on it full sampler pattern set and you get them in all the different pieces this is this part right here I'm thinking about getting some of the different sheep ones not all of them just the ones with sheep in it and I'm gonna I think stitch them all independently and um display them that way so yeah, yeah anyway I'm also thinking about leaving the alphabet off and just stitching the sheep and the border but I really love it and I can't wait to get started on that so I'm sort of thinking about putting this one in my current to do and putting Daisy away for next year maybe so we'll see but this is part of actual haul I kind of snuck a haul in there on you but I wanted to explain myself so we moved right on into that Next in my haul, I've got a, whoops, sorry, bump the camera. I've got a nice little bag here. We'll start with some patterns. Um, this is sort of sampler style, I think, but it is the Strawberry Fair by October House Fiber Arts. And I've been seeing this stitched all over um, like Facebook groups and YouTube, and I just loved it. So I'm gonna um, do this at some point and uh, yeah, it's not in my current to-do, but it will get done. So I love that. So that's my next piece of haul. Let's see, I got a lot of fabric here. Any other pattern? Oh yeah, I do. I also got this one. I believe this was released at market this year. It's also by October House Fiber Arts, and it's the Itch to Stitch, a skinny mini pattern. I just think that's really cute. Look at that. Can't wait to do that. And then the other pattern I got was um, from Puntini Puntini, and it's What's Your Superpower? It says, I turn grass into wool. What's your superpower? As a teacher, um, you know, they always say, you know, I teach what's your superpower. So, and I also like sheep. So I really thought that would be a fun one for me. So excited about that one. So those are the patterns. I did get a couple of digital patterns as well from Etsy. And they're sort of in the sort of sampler sheep style. And if I have time, I will talk about those. But let's look at all this fabric I got first. So look, look at that little stack of fabric. I'm very excited about this. Start with this one. Now this first one is, these are all 16 count by the way, and this is, what is the color on here? It doesn't say, oh no. Fog, there it is, by Picture This Plus. So, I really like it. I think it's a beautiful color. It's the, it, it's a really, 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 really pale, um, like gray. I wonder if I covered up my, no, that doesn't help. It's kind of just going to be washed out. So it's just a little piece, but when I'm uh, not tried a fabric before, I don't know what the color, because it doesn't always translate well on screen. So I usually order a small piece because I love to do smaller stitches. I haven't really done a lot of really big, big stitches. So I get them to look at them and see how I'm going to like it. And I can always use it for something small but then I order it in a larger size once I know I'm gonna like it. And this one is Shale, also by Picture This Plus. 
it's also a small piece. Let me just turn it this way. And this is sort of like a mottled sort of gray with maybe a brownish sort of taupey undertone. Really pretty. I thought this would be a good color for like Halloween stuff, which I also love to stitch. And this one is also by Picture of This Plush and it plus and it's bashful. And it's going to look white. I already know that. But it is the palest pink. And I got this. This is a large piece. Or a large piece from larger piece. It's a fat quarter. Or a fat, excuse me, it's an uh, eighth yard. It's an eighth yard. And I got this to stitch my um, tiny town on. The, uh, what is the name of that one? The Blooming Town. So I thought this would be a great one. Especially because it's such a pale pink that I thought it just wouldn't overtake the pattern, but it would go really well with it. Then here I have this is Wren. This is a large piece of Wren. It's also an eighth yard. Is that what they call that? Yeah, an eighth yard. And it's picture this plus Wren. And I'm going to say this one is a lot more brown. It doesn't look that way on camera because it's really washed out right now. But it's sort of a, a brownish sort of taupey, gray taupey sort of color. But it's got a little bit more brown maybe than the than the fog did. So I've got that one. I'm actually thinking of that for one of my Halloween Silver Creek samplers um, patterns. I actually have two of those. It's sort of funny, I remember saying early on in my cross-stitch journey, because I have a small space, oh, I'm not going to have a fabric stock, I'm going to just buy what I need for when I need it. Yeah, we can see how that turned out. The problem with that is, and it's a wonderful idea, especially with a smaller space, but I find that when I want to start something, I can't find it in stock. If I find the fabric, it's out. Um, and you have to wait for, for like Picture This Plus or something to bring it back in. I think what Ollie was using was Witchel. It was a little easier because that seems to always be in stock. But I've really fallen in love with Picture This Plus and some other types of fabrics. And you kind of have to get it when it's available. So anyway, that's my excuse. I have Legacy here. I actually have a project in mind for these. Uh, that's why I have several of these smaller cuts. I'm going to be using these for, excuse me, Jasper, where is it? I'm going to be using these to stitch my 12 months of the um, Bent Creek snappers. So uh, I believe I can fit two, possibly three on here. They're only three inches finished three and a half inches, I think, finished. So either two or three will fit on these small pieces. So I just need like four or five of these. And I have one, two, three of the small pieces, plus the this one, which I've already started. So that's four. And I think I'm going to get one more just to be sure. So that's what that's for. And then because I really, really like this color a lot, the Legacy, um, I got several of the, them in the larger size. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I got five pieces in the eighth yards so that they're ready to go for future projects. Since I'm starting to get into samplers, I'm going to say I'm probably going to use a lot of these for some of those like samplers. And I also have the fog in one two, three larger pieces. So that is my fabric haul. I don't typically get that amount of fabric at once. It just so happened that my birthday was in March and I got birthday money to spend. So I used it on something I wouldn't um, normally just go out and do for myself. So thank you to my friends and family, I am enjoying the fabric. Okay, welcome back. I had to pause and get, uh, we had a little cat mishap. So the next part of our video is going to be my project bag haul. I know, I know, I know, I need more projects like a hole in the head, but 
I'm going to blame this on my birthday month, so I don't know what I'm going to blame it on next time, but that's what I'm doing this time. Now, first of all, I had such a cool moment. So one of the people I really enjoy getting some project bags from is Veronica So Creative. That's her, um, her Etsy shop. And believe it or not, she actually saw one of my videos. And in that video, I was talking about how I had gotten this bonus item from her for one of my bags. And it was a little bit of an oopsie, no big deal. But the um, little uh, macrame here was actually stitched on the uh, lobster claw part and not on this part. So I wasn't, I don't know how to make these. So I was going to try to sort out how I could fix that. And in the meantime, she actually sent me a replacement, which she really didn't have to do because it was a bonus item in my order. And I was really tickled that she would, that she would do that. So thank you so much. And I can't wait to get that on my bag. I really th thought these were really, really neat. She also did something else. I was absolutely humbled by the fact that she caught and watched my video and mentioned that she saw that I like bees, among other things. She sent me this bag just out of this, the goodness of her heart. She just sent me this bag and I was so humbled and so touched by that. And I'm learning to knit. It's a brand new skill for me. I do uh, some crocheting and I'd really like to learn to knit as well. So this special bag is going to become my I'm learning to knit bag and I'm going to have my beginning projects in here. I mean, look how cute that is inside. I actually turned it inside out and it's kind of reversible too. I know that the pockets are on the inside right now. And if you turned it inside out, they, they would be on the outside, but it works because I tried it. So anyway, I wanted to uh, just say how appreciative and thankful I am. She didn't have to do that and she did. And I can't wait to get my little um, practice knitting swatches going in here. So, so awesome, right? So I also did buy two more bags from her. I love these Lori Holt bags and I have the panel again, but I haven't gotten around to, uh, to making these. I'm just so busy. And several of the ones that I had gotten from her were meant to be gifted to some of people that I know that I see stitching and crocheting when I go down and, um, see one of my parents for their medical uh, issues. And I just thought it would be a nice thing to give them to them. So they have something special to use instead of, you know, a, a grocery bag or whatnot. So I ordered another set so that I have uh, two for myself as well. And they came in and I love them. Aren't they so cute? So here's the fabric on the inside. Super sweet, super sweet bag. Love, love, love this one. Oh, did I not show the back of this one? I'm sorry. These are right out of the zippy panels. I believe zippy panel two, maybe one, I think two. See here you can see these zipper pulls. I love that you can just grab them. They're so easy to open with. When I get my, when I make my bags or get more of the other bags, I'm gonna definitely have some of these on there. They're awesome. So I got those two from Veronica So Creative. And because I love those so much, for my birthday, I had received from a friend of mine these two. But I see that um, someone else has them on their, their site and I might get some more for some gifts. But these are cute, same thing. I'm going to have to find out who makes these because as they were a gift, I don't know the maker and it's not on here. We do have a button on the back. So this one does and this one does. And I believe they both have the same interior. It's this polka dot interior. I love these small ones for my quilting equipment. So like that. These two were also birthday gifts. They were from um, one of my good friends. They're a little bit smaller than I'm used to using, but they're absolutely perfect. So there's no problem on that. Now, I, again, I'm not sure who the maker of these bags are, 
but my friend said that she was watching Lori Holt's YouTube and that this bag maker was um, on one of the YouTube channels or that Lori had mentioned her Etsy shop in her YouTube channel. And I think that the video was one of her cross-stitching videos and the bag had a bunch of ginger, not ginger, um, nutcrackers on it. So if you watch Lori Holt, go back and see her floss tube video and the one with the nutcrackers on there will tell you the maker of this bag. If I find out beforehand or I can figure it out, I will uh, put that in the description. But really pretty on the inside. Cute pattern. I believe this is like a 9 by 12 so it's a little bit smaller than I usually use, but it's uh, perfect. It'll work just the same. And then here's this one. And those ones might, those smaller ones might end up being for quilting equipment as well. And then I was mentioning that Sherry So Sweet, um, that's the, the Etsy shop where I got the project bag with the pumpkin and the Christmas tree, but I missed the flag. And, you know, it was okay. Like, I really need more project bags. And I went on and was just kind of looking around. And guess what I saw back on her site? The flag. The flag. It was ironic because it was like right after my video. And then I was looking around and I'm like, hey, it's back. It had nothing to do with my video. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it was just meant to be. Right? So that's the American flag patriotic project bag. And there is her shop. So I was happy to get that. And then as I mentioned, I'm starting to kind of get into some samplers. They're more of the like cutesy cutesy samplers. They're not like some of the very difficult, very big, very involved samplers. We'll see where this goes. But my dear friend who kind of got me into all of this did send me these. And she said, oh, they're for your samplers since you're starting to get into them. And it is Blackbird Design Fabric where it looks like samplers. This one is vinyl. And they came from, I believe, two different shop makers. I think this one is from Sherry So Sweet. Because I recognized all the stuff that was on here. So I'm thinking that's where it came from. And then this one is the one without the vinyl front. It is fully um, fabric. And it is PT bags. PT bags. Which I think is, is it Penny and Tunny? Something like that. And here's the inside. The back. And there actually is another one of these that is on the way, she told me. She ordered the red here, the red sampler bag, and then thought that she should have ordered the blue because it's my favorite color. And so then she went ahead and just decided afterwards to go ahead and order that after all. And that one is on its way. So I will have um, three of these. And this is Blackbird Designs uh, fabric. So I will have three sampler bags so I guess it's meaning I should start three samplers right we'll see anyway that was my haul such as it was and an update on what I think I might be stitching coming up soon and until next time happy stitching guys